Here's the mugshot of the boy from Volusia County, Florida, arrested. He's 11 years old for bragging about having a kill list. Look at him. He's just a little boy, 11 years old. 11-year-old boy, I don't know why they say in the United States, in Volusia County, Florida, has been arrested after allegedly boasting about his extensive collection of weapons and plans to carry out a kill list at two separate schools. The boy, identified as Carlo Kingston, Darlily, I guess that's how you say your name, I'm just going to call him Carlo, was taken into custody after he showed a video to his of his arsenal to classmates and made violent threats. Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitworth confirmed the arrest in a fake spoke post on Monday. Sheriff's details of Carlos' arrested, arrest and charges, Chitworth stated that deputies seized numerous airsoft rifles, pistols, fake ammunition, knives, swords, and other weapons from Carlos's possession. He had written a list of names and targets. He said it was all a joke, Chitworth wrote on Facebook. The sheriff has charged the 11-year-old with a felony for making written threats of a mass shooting. I've got some videos coming up. Um, I've got an interview with the sheriff, and he's got pictures. He's he's talking. He's like wanting to make the parents accountable, uh, either shame them and all of this stuff. And it's I don't have a problem with that. I really don't. Sheriff's Department released video and photos of the arrest. The Sheriff's Department released a video showing officers escorting Carlo into jail with handcuffs on his wrists and ankles. His mugshot was also made public, along with a photo displaying the replica rifles, a samurai sword, and throwing stars seized from him. Chipworth stated on Facebook, I can and will release the names and photos of juveniles who are committing these felonies, threatening our students, dis disrupting our schools, and consuming law enforcement resources. When they get these calls, sometimes they got to shut the school down. And then the kid, and when if the kids are at school, they're scared. This is insane. This is insane. I mean, look at this kid. He's just a little boy. I mean, look at this. I mean, we're wondering why why is this happening? What well, what's going on? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a couple reasons. I'll tell you three. Since the 60s, since the libtards started planting their seeds of infestation like a viral plague upon the earth, God, country, family, take away, take away God, hate the country, and you don't need a family. What have they been telling women for decades? You don't need a man. You don't need to be barefooted and pregnant in the kitchen. It's all about you. It, your body is yours. Government is God. If you do have a kid, well, we're going to pay for you to abort it, or we're just going to give you money from welfare and food stamps, and we're going to give you subsidized housing. Thanks to the taxpayers. Payers. So the government has spoke for all of us, and we've allowed it to happen. We've allowed it to happen over the past at least five decades that now we have generations those generations having children apparently this boy's father's in prison i don't know much about the mother i will find out but this is a problem now that, those are my and they're they're damn good reasons that th this stuff is happening. And guess what? We reap what we sow. We reap what we sow. And we have allowed the libtards to change laws, infiltrate our schools, infiltrate our lives with their, with their woke agenda. And it started out, get rid of God. 
Get them to hate the country. We'll change history. We'll badmouth everybody. I read an article a while back. They were trying to say that Lincoln is gay. It's ridiculous. Let's 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 uh let's just throw uh, Columbus under the bus. He he made everybody get syphilis or some stupid crap. Rewrite history. And damn the family. Because they've they've re-identified the structure of a nuclear family, which is a man and a woman and children. Not two men, not two women. What do you think it's doing to kids? And plus, why why are these parents giving these children phones? Why is he on the internet? Why does he have a phone? You think, oh, well, my kid needs a phone. Everybody else has one. My kid don't have a phone. He's 14. He's probably the only kid at the school that don't have a phone. I think it's funny. He doesn't think it's funny. I think it's funny. You don't need a phone. Now, did the school give him a laptop? Yeah, the school gave him a laptop. But thank God this year they don't have access to YouTube. I just happened to have to talk, have a talk with the uh, principal last year of his school. And I said, I have some concerns. And I wasn't an asshole about it. I just said, I have some concerns. I wonder if other parents are too. That I have to monitor him while he's doing his homework when he comes home. But I can't monitor him when he heads out that door to go to school. That he has access to YouTube and God knows what else on the internet. And how often are y'all checking their history these kids know how to get around stuff they know they find out how to do stuff on the computer so this year they don't have access to youtube can you believe it i said that's awesome because they are going to listen to music they shouldn't be listening to there's all kinds of things on youtube you should not be watching or listening to if you are a child and God forbid they have TikTok. They no damn way. Why would young you would let your young mind full of mush be on TikTok or be on? And look, I'm not for canceling TikTok. By the way, I am totally no. Parents need to be responsible and stop being lazy. Take the phone from them or get them a phone that all they can do is text. And call family members. That's it. You put a lock on it. You control it. They don't have access to the internet. So, hey, if you parents out there are like, well, my kid needs a phone to be able to call me or text me. Well, there you go. That's all you need. It's one of them little phones and it'd probably be way cheaper than getting them phones with all the apps on it and all this crap. Because you have to protect their eyes, their ears from this stuff. I mean, hell, I mean, the biggest thing was when I was a kid is uh, mom wouldn't let you watch certain things on TV. Nope, you can't watch that. Why? Because it, it's it's for, it's adult, it's an adult show. It has, it deals with adult situations. And you're not, you won't even be interested in it. Go away. Go play outside. Go find something to do. Go away. I mean, that's how it was when I was growing up. But now, you know, they have they have access to all of this crap. So I urge parents, stop being lazy. You can get these phones that have locks on them. And that's what we're considering getting my kid. It's a phone where he can text and he can call family. Because he certainly don't need to be having relationships. He's 14 years old. What the hell? He's just a kid. He needs to be focused on school. And yeah, playing at school, goofing. But it, the, the, this other stuff is nonsense. It's just nonsense. But anyway, there he is. This little guy. I guess he's going to need some help. Uh, something's wrong with him. Now, either his mother's having to work all the time. He's not being supervised. And that's a big problem, too. Hell, you have to supervise a puppy in your house. Wait, you got to supervise your children. You just can't leave them alone. You have to figure it out. And it is tough. It is tough because 
libtarp policies over the, I'm going to bring it up again, the last few decades has destroyed the family. They've destroyed our school system. They don't even have books anymore. I get fired up about it when I think about it. That how, how the hell did this happen? How the hell did this happen? Like, I just woke up one day and then boom. I remember years ago, I was in California. And uh, my, my oldest son. He was in uh, going into first grade, and I used to volunteer in the class. And she, the teacher, would ask me to go and help some other kids, like like four or five of them, in a little group. And then I'd help them with their little spelling words, right? Little three letter words, blah blah blah. She said, "Okay, well, by the way, we're not teaching phonics." I said, "What? Oh, we're teaching memorization." And there was no books. So this this was over 30 years ago. Yeah, I'm telling my age now. And it has just gotten worse. So I'm not sure if it started in California and then swept across the country where everything was ditto sheets. I'd come in and they're like, oh, I'm so glad you're here. Can you go? We need, we need like, you know, a thousand of these. I'm exaggerating, by the way. But everything was ditto sheets. No books to read. No books. Little cards to, so they could try to memorize the words. But of course, when I go home, I taught him phonics. That's how I learned, and it worked. But there you have it. And we're going to move on to the next segment. Volusia County, the sheriff sending a strong message to moms and dads after a string of false school shooting threats there. Sheriff Mike Chitwood released the mugshot of an 11 year old who's accused of making threats to commit a school shooting, a mass one at a middle school. The sheriff is now calling for parents to be held accountable. We're going to start doing Monday is since parents, you don't want to raise your kids. I'm going to start raising them. Every time we make an arrest, your kid's photo is going to be put out there. And if I could do it, I'm going to perp walk your kid so that everybody can see what your kid's up to. Strong words there. Authorities in Volusia say they've received at least 54 school threat tips in just one night last week through Fortify Florida. The app allows people to report suspicious activity to law enforcement and school officials. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, Captain Todd Smith with us, who is uh, oversees school security for the sheriff's office and partners with the school district. You know, this is absolutely out of control and it ends now. 54 and counting tips came in to Fortify Florida last night, okay? That means investigators in the school district have been running around the clock to investigate these tips, which are all turning out to be false. So far, it's cost $21,000 to do these investigations. We have two in custody. We have an investigation looking at one other individual. So far this year, there have been 207 threats who have come in. We've arrested seven people for written threats to kill. One student, if you remember, tried to bring a loaded firearm into a mainland football game. Uh, we've had 11 weapons on our campuses this year. So what we're going to start doing Monday is, since parents, you don't want to raise your kids, I'm going to start raising them. Every time we make an arrest, your kid's photo is going to be put out there. And if I could do it, I'm going to perp walk your kid so that everybody can see what your kid's up to. The second point of this is, if I can any way find out that a parent knew what was going on and wasn't doing anything, your ass is getting perp walked with them. The purpose of Fortify Florida is to send in tips that we're going to investigate because you believe something is going to happen. To keep sending in these tips over and over and over again and think it's a big joke and nothing's going to happen to it, Starting Monday, we're going to have a billboard. We're going to have a poster out. I'm going to show you every kid that's been arrested and where they go to school. And then from there on out, we're going to publicly shame them and their parents. So parents, do your job. Don't let Sheriff Chitwood raise your kids. This is absolutely ridiculous. Go talk to the families who have lost a loved one in a school shooting. These little knuckleheads think it's funny. Go talk to those parents and see how funny this is. It's not. We're going to come and get you and we're going to put you out for public embarrassment. And I know of a set of parents right now that they're looking at $11,000 each because somebody's paying this bill.